FM last week that His Royal Majesty called all political parties to his palace, especially for a peace talk. The Majesty, in his wisdom, told everybody to siege assault so that Edo State is peaceful once again. And uh, we'll be happy to report in the last few days that there are no reported cases of violence on any of our leaders across the three twenty three districts, although this thing was mainly prevalent in Edo North. But then, with the strategy of the APC, that know that they have lost the election, they are looking for all ways and all manner to have the elections postponed, have the state of emergency declared, or not have the elections at all. They are not contriving violence on their supporters or members. We condemn these tactics of irresponsibility, whereby nothing happens, and APC wants to now create, contrive violence somewhere in Edo State. We challenged them a few days ago that prior to the Orbas inter intervention, if they have a catalog of where any APC person was attacked, beaten, shot at, injured, let them produce all these documents. Now, with what we believe was the cessation of fire from them, they are now parading some people in some local government, as I think I read somewhere in uh, Edo Central, Eastern Central local government, that they were, their boys were attacked or beaten up or something. All these are connived or contrived by APC. No PDP member, especially those that are 100% certain that PDP is going to win the election, wants to risk the election be postponed or a state of emergency uh, called on those states. Our members have been very disciplined, they're very cooperative with the government, and, we, and they continue to be so.